Hello and ciao! Welcome to another episode of Zuki Recipes. Today we are going to be making a chili lime shrimp salad using Zuki's chili pepper flavored EVOO. So the first thing we're going to do is mix up the garlic citrus sauce for the shrimp. So I have about three garlic cloves here that are already minced and I'm going to add to it about a tablespoon of the zuki chili pepper olive oil. And then we're also going to use the juice from one orange and one lime. And this sauce really is gonna serve as the base for the entire salad. If you don't like spicy, I would recommend um, using a, a non chili pepper olive oil um, or using a little bit less of that. It does have pretty strong spicy kick. Just give it a little bit of a whisk to mix it all up together. And then we're gonna add this to a pan on medium to low heat and just let it cook until it reduces by half. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and add in our shrimps. These are peeled and duveined. They do still have the tails on for a little bit of color. And we're gonna cook this down until the shrimp are pink all the way through. Okay, so while the shrimp are cooking, we can prepare the rest of the salad. So I'm going to finely mince a shallot. Once you have your shallots chopped up, we can add them to our bowl of greens. And you can use any greens here. Arugula works really well. Any sort of leafy green would work perfect here. And then next we can go ahead and chop up our yellow bell pepper. And this gives the salad just a really beautiful crunch with each bite. And then once these are done, we can also add them to the salad. And let's check on our shrimp. They're starting to turn a little pink. While those are still cooking, let's go ahead and work on the avocado. So I have one avocado, and I'm just going to peel this and cube it the same way that I did with the yellow pepper. And a good trick for cutting avocado is to leave it in the, the skin. I just sort of do this in a crisscross fashion. And then once you get everything cut out, you can just take a spoon and pop everything out. And I like to save the avocados for the very, very end after we've mixed everything up. And then next we will chop up some parsley. I'm going for about maybe a little more than half a cup, two thirds a cup of parsley. So we can go ahead and take um, maybe about a tablespoon of parsley and add it directly to the shrimp as they're finishing to cook. Oh yeah, these are looking beautiful. Next we're gonna just finely chop our cashews and these are already roasted. Gives them a beautiful nutty flavor. And this will give the salad a really nice crunch with each bite. All right, I think our shrimp are almost ready. All right, so once your shrimp are all the way cooked through, nice and pink, we can go ahead and turn this off. And just let this cool for maybe five to 10 minutes before you add it to the salad so that everything doesn't get um, too wilted in there. We are gonna use a lot of the sauce that's in here. It's gonna add a really beautiful flavor to the salad and act in some ways as a dressing for the salad. Okay, so we're gonna add the shrimp to the salad. And again, you're gonna wanna use all those juices from the shrimp because that's gonna add a lot of flavor to your salad and be like the salad dressing. Okay, and then what I like to do here is just give it a little taste and see if it needs more lime, more salt, more oil. Okay, I think it needs a little bit of lime. And I'm gonna also cut a few wedges too to serve alongside the salad just in case anyone wants a little extra lime. It also makes for a really pretty presentation to have the lime on the side. Beautiful. Okay, so the way that I like to serve this salad is to put it on a flat plate because um, I think that it has a really beautiful presentation that way and you can make sure that you get all the different bits of the avocado and the cashews evenly distributed. Mm. 
Mm. So good. So that's our recipe for shrimp chili lime salad. If you enjoyed this recipe and you'd like to make it at home, please check out the full recipe and the link below. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Ciao.